NBA 2K24 just got some huge news. 2K tweeted, NBA 2K is introducing two premium season pass options to NBA 2K24. The Pro Pass and the Hall of Fame Pass provides players with access to 40 additional earnable premium rewards and more. Now, I know a lot of you guys have a ton of questions about this, so I'm going to break this down, and you guys are going to know exactly what to do when NBA 2K24 comes out. Now, on the article, it says, in NBA 2K24, the seasonal progression track will now combine my team and my career into one linear reward system players can earn a free reward from both modes each time a player reaches a new level in nba 2k24 so if you guys don't understand this i'm gonna give you an example basically what this means is if you hit level 40 for three seasons in a row playing park and you haven't played my team at all and you want to start now you are still going to get the previous three season rewards all at once so you won't ever be behind in any mode and I really like this because a few months into the game is when I usually start playing my team. And now because of this new system, I'm not going to miss out on any previous rewards from previous seasons. So now this is where it gets good. Each season, the Hall of Fame pass includes everything in the Pro Pass, plus 10 level skips applied immediately, and the 15% XP booster that is applied throughout the season. Play my career and or my team to earn XP and level up to reach level 40. Now this is pretty insane because 2K has never had a battle pass in their game. Now I'm going to clear some things up. Yesterday, Ronnie2K tweeted about a new rep system. If you guys haven't heard, this is what it looks like. It's rookie to starter to veteran to top 10. Now the reason I'm pointing this out is because that has nothing to do with what I'm talking about today. The level 40 system and this new battle pass has nothing to do with that rep system. Just want to make that clear. Now the pro pass is $10 and it says this you get access to 40 additional earnable premium rewards you also get four additional season pass rewards automatically redeemed and separate from the reward track all right so let me break this down and let me make this clear there is a level 40 system alone just like nba 2k23 and you can grind it for free it's going to be 40 levels and 40 rewards but if you want to buy the pro pass which is ten dollars you're going to get an extra 40 rewards so basically 80 rewards and this is what the $20 Hall of Fame pass includes. A 15% XP booster applied throughout the season. You get 10 level skips immediately applied to the season reward track. And you get one additional reward automatically applied. So in the Hall of Fame pass, you're gonna get everything that the Pro Pass gets, but basically you're just gonna rep up 15 times faster. And you're gonna be able to skip the first 10 levels. Again, I'm going to say this. You do not have to purchase any of these battle passes. There is still a free level 40 system to just grind and receive 40 rewards, just like NBA 2K22 and NBA 2K23. 2K also mentioned that you can upgrade your pass whenever you'd like and that you can skip each level for $2. This is insane. I'm already knowing, bro, 2K is making a bag this year. Now, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Are you guys going to buy the Pro Pass or the Hall of Fame Pass and why? And if you aren't going to buy either, let me know why as well. And after that tweet, 2K followed up with some more info on the new Battle Pass with this tweet. Sneak peek at Season 1. Pro Pass Season 1 unlocks access to 40 levels of earnable premium rewards. Get the Season 1 Pro Pass and automatically receive animated green release arm sleeve checkered board stripes short shorts you get the ruby Giannis antetokounmpo my team card and you get limitless range hall of fame badge it also says the hall of fame pass includes everything in the pro pass you get 15,000 vc automatically redeemed and you get the 15 xp booster and 10 level skips they also said remember there are still 40 free rewards to earn in every season in my career and my team 80 total all right so this is getting good now this is just some extra news but as you guys can see from the screenshot hall of fame limitless range is returning to 2k24 all right so for season one of nba 2k24 if you buy the hall of fame pass you automatically get 15k vc and 45k vc is earnable so you are basically getting 60k vc for 20 dollars i think it's priced pretty good now usually 20 dollars is worth 75k vc but i still think it's priced pretty good i think if they did not add vc as a reward in this battle pass it would be pretty scummy but you're basically getting all your vc back plus 80 more rewards for only 15k vc in my opinion i think that's a w now i really hope that the level 40 battle pass rewards are mainly just cosmetic rewards I want the actual rep system to be gameplay rewards that are actually worth grinding for. And they need to make it really hard to reach so it's really rare. 
so far i think 2k is taking a huge w man the gameplay news sounds great the old rep system is back and they're even coming out with a battle pass for people who can't play the game all day like me because i have no life now mike wang the head developer for 2k liked this tweet by my boy jay blake and jay blake said please do not change anything for the first two weeks of 2k24 let everyone get used to the game find animations get badges and figure out the builder and gameplay and i couldn't agree more too many times people buy the game and on day one instead of getting their butt in my career they go straight to the park and complain on twitter that they can't hit these open threes when they have a 93 ball hey man instead of complaining on twitter to mike wing maybe you should hit my career and actually grind your badges and you might make those shots in the park little things like this can ruin the game for the entire year and it's happened before mike wing has listened to a lot of people that have complained like this and he listened to him and the game got cooked the rest of the entire year now in the tweet jay blake said give it two weeks but in my opinion i think you should give it a solid month to change anything because by then people are going to find out the meta builds and majority of people will have all their max badges in 2k24 and overall we just need to have a good feel for the game before we make any changes uncle demi also said that during the 2k24 testing session that paint defense was too overpowered and they might consider nerfing it here's proof bigs are going to be really good this year um and that's where I'm going to put it at. Because I don't know if I, if I can say much about what else. But, like, the paint is going to... Listen, paint defense is really, really strong. I'm not even going to lie. I felt like it was too strong, right? But I can't really speak on why I say it's too strong. But I think it's going to be tweaked a little bit. Because I thought it was too strong. I mean, we had people out there looking like, what's the dude from Street Fighter? Like, that she even had a long reach. Like, I felt like some of these centers, bro, were just able to cover the whole damn court. Right? <laughs> it was crazy. But, um, but yeah, so paint defense is definitely buffed all right now listen he may be right but i'm not quite sure if we're being completely honest 2k has never gotten paint defense right yes yeah, some years were better than others but at the end of the day there's never been a 2k where you can get consistent stops in the paint and that's been one big issue i'd rather the paint defense be too overpowered going into 2k24 and maybe they can tone it down after seeing proof that it is way too op i don't know man maybe i just got ptsd but i'm serious i would rather play a game that has really insane paint defense over none at all nba 2k developer Dazar tweeted this so which one of y'all is going to be recommending 25 strength this year dot 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 now this makes me think because strength in my opinion has really never mattered maybe a little bit with big men but like for guards and locks strength has never mattered for those positions but i will say they are pushing this heavy lately but i don't know maybe now guards need a high strength so they don't get bullied by lockdowns when they get bumpy with them who knows this guy's a 2k developer so he knows something that we don't solo tweeted someone who played nba 2k24 early expressed that they liked basically everything about the game except the game speed he stressed that the burst out of the dribble moves weren't fast enough the 2k team is aware of this though and may fix it before launch i'm telling you right now i think this has a lot to do with the new pro play technology and the animations i think whoever played the game early and whoever's saying this may not just be adjusted to what the new pro play technology feels like now listen i'm not saying i want offense to be slow that is not what i'm saying I think it should be super fast paced because first of all it's a video game and i think most people like fast paced gameplay but at the same time we also need defense to be at the same speed level or if not maybe even better i mean it's pretty logical think about it someone running without the ball aka the defender on defense should be way faster than someone who is running while dribbling at the same time that's just my opinion and i think that's pretty logical let me know what you guys think down below i just want 2k24 to be a really balanced 2k fana who is a 2k league pro and who has played nba 2k24 early tweeted this basically you have freedom to dribble this year and you will not lose adrenaline unless you get bumped so it's only to stop the hardcore left riding so you can still combo take a step and snatch back without losing a burst until you explode at least two steps out of your move and someone responded saying do you know anything about quick stops and unfortunately fana responded saying that's not information that was listed below gang and that guy responded saying wang avoiding the question too with the kevin hart meme i don't know man what do you guys think i haven't heard any news about quick stopping returning to nba 2k24 and i'm really not sure why in my opinion quick stops is not cheesy at all and that's the real reason why guards during 2k23 didn't shoot standing shots at all they shot fade threes all year long 
The defender could easily get a shot contest if the ball handler tried to take a standing shot after dribbling. And that was a major issue. Hopefully that has improved in NBA 2K24. Drop a like if you want quick stops to return. So Mike Wayne tweeted a few days ago letting us know what the defensive adrenaline bars will be like in NBA 2K24, but now they are backtracking and he tweeted this. We're having some internal debate on how much losing adrenaline should penalize you on defense. Concerns are the numbers below are too harsh. 5% then 10% for the first two bars were suggested thoughts i think this is a huge w for defenders this is really good for defenders and it's going to make defenders way more op i don't care what anyone says this is what we need in nba 2k24 ladies and gentlemen this is all the news for today if you guys were informed and you learned a lot about nba 2k24 make sure you guys do drop a like subscribe turn notice on because i'm uploading every single day and make sure you click the latest video on the screen where i talk about the new rep system in nba 2k24 i'm gonna catch you guys next time i'm out peace